Hey guys, I'm Billy with Spec Training. Today we're over here on the Gun Deals channel to talk to you guys about one of my all-time favorite AR-15 rifles, and that is the Zev Core Elite 16-inch. Okay guys, let's dive into the Zevtech Core Elite. If you don't know where this rifle came from, you're probably familiar with Zevtech. They've been making performance parts for your pistols for a very long time. I've been running Zev parts for a long time, uh, but they did recently acquire Mega Arms and they're now getting into the rifle space. Mega has been making a lot of good rifles for a long time, but they've gotten a little bit of a facelift since they've joined with Zev, collaborating with those guys to squeeze every ounce of performance they can get out of these things and make a rifle, which is kind of exactly what I would want and a lot of your, your higher end shooters are really, really interested in. So I'm gonna tell you about this rifle, go through the features uh, and tell you some of the things about it that are kind of unique. With that said, kind of my experience with the rifle, let me start with that really quickly, kind of where my opinions are coming from. Zev did send me this rifle, full disclosure, for me to show to you guys uh, and use in reviews. I run it in my classes, I run it in competitions, all that kind of good stuff. But um, with that said, as a pro shooter, getting a free gun, I can promise you, is not an incentive for me to run a gun I don't like. <laughs> and my opinion is not for sale, so I do my best to give only unbiased opinions on these guys. And I can tell you this, I have no problems putting the Zevtech Correlate up there in that tier one category of AR-15s with some of the really other uh, top of the line rifles that are out there on the market. I'm gonna tell you some of the things about this one that are really unique in that category, why you might be interested in the Zev. Okay guys, so let's dive into the specifics of the rifle. We'll start up at the front end of it and we'll kind of work our way back and talk about some of the unique features on the Zevtech Correlate. So, starting with our muzzle device. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different depending on which one you get, when exactly you buy it, and so forth. When these first came out, they were all coming with your Surefire War Comp, which is a muzzle device that I really like, and it's a cool feature of all of the Zev rifles. They're gonna come with a performance muzzle device right out of the box. Um, if you get one of the brand new ones, as I'm filming this here in early 2021, uh, Zev has just come out with their own muzzle device, which is another performance muzzle device that I'm looking really forward to get my hands on. But the newer rifles are gonna come with that muzzle device, not the War Comp. So just be aware of that. But regardless, it's a cool feature of this rifle. You know, most of your tier one rifles, again, are still coming with your A2 flash hiders on it, pre-installed from the factory. So it's cool that you're getting a, a, a higher end performance muzzle device that's gonna help you keep the gun flat and also suppress flash. Um, when you're when you're out there running. So with the barrel a little bit. Obviously it comes with Zev's uh, PVD bronze coating. Now regardless of what you think about the looks of it, it's really cool in my opinion to have a higher end coating on your barrel. The reason for that is obviously I have this full length free float rail that kind of prevents me from getting to the barrel. And if you're like me, you know, I'm always out running my guns in the rain. And of course, you know, your black nitrides, your melanites, those are solid coatings, but they can actually rust over time. I've seen it happen. And so you know, if you're like me, after getting your rifle soaking wet, at the end of the day, you're in there with a hair dryer trying to blow it out and make sure everything's dry. Really don't have to worry about that with this bronze PVD coating. I like the aesthetic of it as well. I'm not a big fan of the gold titanium nitride coatings, but this guy I can get behind. Don't mind the looks of that uh, as well, but you can get black barrels if you prefer. But, uh, but this is the one that it comes with standard. Let's talk about the rail. So this is Zeb's wedge lock. Uh, rail system and it is really really cool couple cool things about it number one with the wedge lock in here it's going to give you a, an extremely solid just bomb proof mounting solution so that if you do have you know devices on here that are zeroed whether it's a sight whether it's a backup optic or whether it's a laser 
you're not gonna have to worry about this thing losing zero, even when you're throwing this rifle around, banging it into stuff, all that kind of stuff, as I do to my rifles all the time. You don't have to worry about it. It's gonna hold zero, it's gonna stay exactly where you put it. Obviously, full length pick rail across the top, which is what you want. And then they have something pretty cool. Not only is it M, do they have the M lock across the sides and across the bottom, but here up front, you have the full seven sided M lock mounting section so that if you did want to, you know, mount a light up here at an angle or mount a laser or whatever you need, usually that stuff is going to happen up here, you know, in front of the grip, right? That's where your lights are going to be, your lasers, all that kind of stuff. So you don't necessarily need M lock on the angles all the way back, okay? So they put your full seven line M lock up front where you need it and then just do three rows of M lock farther back, which frees up some space to do these larger, if I can get the, uh, the camera to focus here, these larger kind of uh, cooling and weight relief ports on the other four sides of your rail. It's gonna give you a lighter system overall that cools faster and doesn't get and doesn't get as hot. A really cool thing from Zevtech that a lot of your other rifles are not gonna have, okay? So let's slide back and talk about kind of the heart of the rifle, if you will, okay? So with the receiver set, nothing too fancy here. A basic forged, just solid receiver set. No issues to speak of there. You can get a billet set as well. I don't have that one. This again is kind of a basic forged set. The billet set is actually full ambi, so it gives you full controls on both sides of the rifle, which is pretty freaking cool, especially if you're left-handed. That's going to be a real advantage for you. Um, as far as the trigger goes, um, I'm very picky on my triggers. This comes with a great trigger. It's an AR Gold trigger. I've got some buddies that are shooters and um, that really think it's the best thing ever. It's not my personal preference. I've really gotten uh, to like these single stage Timmy triggers. That's what I've got in here right now. But another really cool thing, again, about this particular rifle is it's going to come with a performance trigger pre-installed that would usually cost you an extra couple hundred bucks. Most of your other tier run rifles are going to come with a basic mil spec or maybe a little bit slightly improved mil spec uh, trigger. That's really nothing uh, to write home about. Um, comes with Magpul furniture, so Magpul grip and Magpul stock. This particular Magpul stock is not one that I was actually familiar with or had used before. I'm, I'm really partial. I had gotten used to the B5 stocks. I, I, the way it fits my face, I like you know a, a kind of a fatter stock, if you will, that angles more gradually. And so when I got this, I was figuring I would just swap it out for my B5, but I actually like this one just as well. It uh, it really does feel familiar. If you like the B5, you're probably going to like uh, this guy. Um, forgot to mention, comes with your Ambi safety selector right out of the box. It can be 45 like I have it set up here, or your traditional 90. You just switch it around, no big deal there at all, as well as a Ambi charging handle. So you can get to that from both sides of the rifle. A little bit extended, much, much better than your standard uh, charging handles that you're going to have. So that is kind of your basic overview, guys, of your Zev 16-inch Correlate rifle. All in all, this is a really solid, what I, like I said, Tier 1 rifle that you can run hard, put away wet, and it is just going to keep on running. I haven't made a note of it. I don't think, guys, I have cleaned this gun yet. I think I have about eight, eight to 10,000 rounds through at this point. Um, I just keep dumping lube on it, and it just keeps running with zero issues whatsoever. I've been really, really impressed with it. Definitely a sub MOA gun, very, very uh, accurate, and it's, it shoots really well. I run these things very, very fast, um, and the recoil impulse is just nice and soft, very easy to predict, very trackable, and so I like everything about this rifle overall. What Zev tries to do, in my experience with their guns, is give you something out of the box that's as close to the way you're going to run it long term as possible. Now, we all have our personal preferences. I like Timmy triggers. I put a Timmy trigger in there. You can't please everybody 100% of the time. But at the same time, it's a real bummer when you go pay 1500 to 1700 bucks for a, one of the tier one rifles and it comes with a crappy trigger, a mil spec safety selector, a mil spec charging handle, a flash hider, all these kind of things that you're just going to have to go shell out another 500 bucks to replace. You don't have to do that for the most part with these Zev guns. You can br break these things out of the box and just run it. And it's going to be a really high end premium performing rifle. So I'm a big fan. Hope you guys are as well. Hope this was helpful. We'll see you guys in the next one.